Hey everyone, it's Christina Holloway here. So today we're talking more about personal brand. Now this is a continuation from my last video about my three-pronged approach to building a powerful personal brand. Real quick, my framework is a three-part strategy called the ART process and it works like this. Number one, build authority. What do you do best and how do you maximize this strength to your advantage? Number two, build respect. If people don't know who you are and what you stand for, they won't know how to work with you. And number three, build trust. This is a two-way street and serves as the foundation for how you build credibility. It's about building powerful relationships and showing that you can be counted on when things get tough. So today we're going to talk about part two, which is building respect. Real quick, before we get started, please make sure to hit the notification button, hit the like button if you enjoyed this content, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That would be so kind and I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so let's get started. Now, going through the process of building respect is probably the biggest step in this framework. Here's why. This is actually about changing the way you behave in order to get different responses from the people around you. While step one is about understanding your strengths and maximizing those strengths to position yourself as an authority or expert, step two is really all about paying attention to the way you behave around other people and going deep to understand how your behavior informs how others see you, good or bad. And this all starts with boundaries. Here's what I'm talking about. For example, when someone constantly makes microaggressions or needling remarks towards you, do you address it or let it slide? When someone asks you to help at the 11th hour and it's an intrusive habit, do you always agree even if you have something else planned or you already have a really full workload? Have you expected to get a raise or promotion only to find out you've been passed up? How did you address it with your boss? Did you bring it up or did you excuse it away? Each of these examples involves understanding the boundaries of what we will and will not tolerate. And if we find that we tolerate more than we'd like, it's definitely going to cause resentment and unhappiness in that situation. Now, it may look like people are taking advantage of your good nature, but a closer look shows that you may be allowing the people around you to do that, even though you thought you were being helpful or kind. It's okay to be accommodating, but it's not okay to be accommodating at the expense of your well-being. This is what it means to build respect. First, you figure out what you will and will not tolerate. Then, you set boundaries for those around you so you know how to respond when they bump up against those limitations. And then, you make sure that you communicate those boundaries in a firm way. This is where you can flex into your kindness and your helpfulness. It's all in how you deliver the message. So to get you started on understanding where you may have dropped your boundaries, here are five questions that will help you understand how much you're willing to tolerate, where you've been loose with boundaries in certain situations, and how you can start to visualize a new reality where you command respect and give it in equal amounts. Ask yourself, first, where do you feel you have soft boundaries and let things slide that you wish you could be firm on? Be honest with yourself here because we're going to spend the rest of this video building a framework for how you can start creating stronger boundaries. Next, how do you manage conversations with other people, your supervisors, your colleagues, your subordinates? Can you walk away from a conversation feeling like a win-win or do you feel like you gave up too much in hindsight? Where do you struggle? Next, during your last conversation with your supervisor or boss, how do you feel you handled speaking up for yourself and advocating for your career advancement and compensation? How would you like the conversations to go? What would you like to say? Next, how do your colleagues and team members see you? Is there alignment with the way you present yourself versus the impression they have of you? Have you struggled with someone telling you what they think of you and you don't see yourself that way? Write down how you'd like others to see you. Next. Write down how you'd like to show up on an average day at work. What would that look like? Imagine how conversations would go, how professional relationships would progress, and how you'd be able to speak truth to power. Where are the gaps? If you feel the gaps are big, don't worry about it. We all start somewhere. The first step is to take action. Ask yourself what small changes you could make to set yourself on the path to your deepest desires. Who do you want to become? Where do you see yourself in your career today? 
How far apart are those two visions? How much work will you need to do? Developing the vision of how you want to be seen makes it that much easier to step into that reality. The biggest factor in building a powerful personal brand is the ability to set healthy boundaries about what you will and will not tolerate. The more you set expectations for yourself and others around you, the more comfortable you'll feel in your professional brand. And that's it for this five minute hack on developing a powerful personal and professional brand. This video was all about where you've let people figure out who you are without telling them who you are. If you find that they see you in a different light, maybe one that's unflattering or untrue, you'll need to evaluate where you should strengthen some boundaries. Now, if you wanna learn more about developing a powerful personal brand, then take the time to download my free ebook on the four elements of a strong personal brand. I've included it in the description below. Just a reminder that if you like this video and you wanna see more content that will help you build an effective leadership brand as you climb that ladder of success, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a helpful tip from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.